Hello guys and welcome to this new Unity tutorial. In this video, we're going to go over how to install Unity and get it started. So, first of all, let's go to the Unity website. And here, click on Get Started. Here there are different plans and for the individual plan, there is a free personal license. So, click on Get Started and click download for windows if your system is windows it also works for mac os and linux so once you download it it will download unity hub i already have it so i won't install it again and let's open it once unity hub is open you will see this interface here of course you won't be having projects here if you have a fresh install so go to the installs you won't either have this unity version here and click on install editor you can install any version here but the recommended one is the latest LTS version recommended version here is 2020.3 so hit install and wait for it once it is done you can go to the project tab hit new project and here you have different templates so 2D and 3D are self-explanatory the others are for different render pipelines Unity basically has three render pipelines. First, for these two, it's the built-in render pipeline. It's a legacy pipeline and only there for compatibility with older projects. So it's not really useful now. Instead, we'll be using URP most of the time. So it's a universal render pipeline. It's suited for low-end devices and mobile devices too. Also, it works fine with the stylized games. There is also the HDRP, HDRP stands for High Definition Render Pipeline and it's suited for uh, AAA games and uh, high fidelity graphics. If you want to create a project, just select the template that you want. For instance, we'll be selecting 3D URP. Choose a name for your project, for example, Tutorial, and here you can pick a location. And hit Create Project. Once it is done, you will find this interface here. These many windows and buttons here may be overwhelming, but it's actually pretty simple. So let's go and break it down. First of all, the scene view here is basically your level, and everything you put in your game would be shown here, but in dev view mode. Here is the hierarchy, it's the same thing, it just lists all the objects in your level with their hierarchy. Let's go to the game tab. This is pretty much the same thing, but from a player's perspective. Here we have the project view. It has all files and folders of your project. You see here that we have two big folders, assets and packages. We won't be touching this one, but uh, almost never. And the assets folder is where we're going to work. Next here we have the inspector. If I select anything here or here, you see that the inspector changes, so it holds all properties for the specific objects uh, object that we are selecting. And you notice that all game objects have this transform component. It's a component that holds the position, rotation and scale for the specific game object. Also in the other tabs here, these are other scripts linked to that, that object and you can customize them here. Next is the console. So here you can display uh, debug info from your program or errors that will be shown will be shown here. Now if you go back to the scene view, when you hold the right mouse button and you can click WASD to navigate here, press E to go up and Q to go down, the navigation is pretty intuitive. You can also, while holding the right mouse button, use the scroll mouse to increase or decrease camera speed. So that was an overview of the Unity Editor. Now let's go to the required system components. If you go to the official documentation, this is not very self-explanatory. Average user won't understand what this is. So the SSE2 is basically any modern CPU will be SSE2 capable. For the GPU, most GPUs nowadays are DX10 capable, but there will be some limitation on lower end GPUs. For CPU, I recommend having a CPU with over 2.4 GHz frequency. And for the GPU, 
a 900 series uh, GeForce will do fine. Although I recommend using a Turing capable GPU, uh, so starting from series 16 and higher. Older GPUs will of course work pretty well, but just for shader compilation speed I recommend a 16 series at least. So I hope that you liked this video, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments, we'll be glad to answer them. And stay tuned for next videos, see you next time.